Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for joining me again. Today we're going to have another hair tutorial. We're going to be doing a halo braid or a flower crown. So let's do this. Okay guys, so I have my hair in this little cute towel. I really love this hair towel because it's a bit wet. I did run water through it today, so it's damp. It's not wet anymore. I just wanted to show you my cute hair towel. Look at it. It's so adorable. Let's put it aside. So before you do a hair crown or a halo braid, you need a few things. I have them right here. You need a hairbrush and a white tooth comb, which I really find useful. And then you'll need some cute clips. I'll just show you what I have. So that's basically all we're going to need, but I will be showing you two different ways to do, the, to do the halo braid because there's a way that's much easier for thicker and heavier hair because when you do make a huge braid running through your head like this, when you have thick hair, it's quite heavy. I did find a little shortcut on making a smaller, Halo braid that's much lighter because I do have really thick hair. I had it thinned. You can check out my hair highlights vlog. It's one of my recent videos, but naturally my hair is quite thick, so I don't really like um, having my hair up on my head. Sometimes it gets quite heavy. It can strain my neck and sometimes I do get a headache. But right now my hair is lighter since I had it thin. But the downside of having your hair thin is now it's growing back and literally you can see the small bits of hair growing back. I don't like that at all. My hair isn't looking slick when I want it to look slick and I'm really a slick kind of girl. Check my slick bun hair tutorial. But anyways, enough of me ranting. Let's get to the tutorial people. So first I'm just going to brush my hair with this cute brush. Just get out most of the tangles. And use my white tooth comb. Okay. So one thing you should do if you have curly hair most especially is you should have it a bit damp or run some product through it. I did put some basic coconut oil and amla oil in my hair before so it's not going to be dry. It's much easier to style curly hair if it's not dry. Okay. Now that my hair is brushed out, I'm just going to run a line all the way to the back. So basically part it in half. So now that my hair is parted in half, I'm literally going to start doing a braid in the form of like a corner, a large corner of French braid starting from here and then I'll go all the way around. So let me just try and show you guys as best as I can how to do it.
so guys we literally braided along our scalp in, in that entire way through and of course when your hair is longer you're going to have some sort of like hanging so one thing I did forget to tell you is we shall be needing these bobby pins to secure this sort of remaining hair this little braid along the scalp so let me just show you how it's done so we have this bobby pin we're going to use it to secure my hair but first let's run this braid along my scalp literally like, just like this and then you see this little bit remaining I'll put it right here sort of hiding it and then we'll use a bobby pin to just secure it in Okay guys, I think this is fine, but I'll just put in an extra bobby pin just to be sure. Let's just put it. You can check for the loose place as well. It's a bit loose at the back. It's a bit loose here, so we'll just pin it in and secure it. We don't need it getting loose any time throughout the day. Yeah. Okay guys, now it's all secure. It just needs a little bit of a few things to make it look even cuter. So let's go to our little cute butterflies, which are right here. Different colors, all shiny, it's such a BB thing. And let's get them in my hair. You just have to sort of place them just a bit. You can go over the top if you like. You can do whatever you like, as long as you feel cute. And I really love having these little shiny accents in my hair, in my outfit, that's just me. So don't feel shy, always feel free to just sort of express yourself the way you want. Okay guys, that's the first one. I think it's perfectly placed in. Let's just put in a few more. Let's see, one in the middle. Poking out, maybe here. Yes. A little shiny green one. This is so cute. Just look at this. You can get these accessories online at random shop stores, supermarkets, anywhere. Okay, this butterfly is poking out a bit too much. Let's see. I think I'll just sort of press in here and have it there. Perfect. Few more little blue one, so sparkly, really cute. Perfect. Okay, guys. This is a basically almost a final look. The next thing we're going to do is sort of smooth down these baby hairs and we're done. Okay guys, it's that simple, you just have to be good at braiding so you can be able to go all the way around in your scalp. And if you just need some more practice, you can practice doing a French braid, I do have a video on that. You can do cornrows, I do have a video on that, well half cornrows. But you can just practice so you can be able to go all the way around and it gets easier each time you try. And it's a fun look, I like it, it's not that heavy, it is if your hair is quite thick sometimes and I do tend to tie my braids quite tight it's just what I like but sometimes I do get a headache but that's what it's like and I love it I really love it guys I love it how it feels how it looks it's something different so this is a final look and it's BB approved I really love it but just before I end this video I do want to show you another alternative to doing this flower crown braid or halo braid that I do tend to do sometimes it's just basically doing half 
not half basically less than half of your hair just at the front so it's like a little ribbon so before I end this video I'll just show you really quick how I do that but thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel right down there and hit the notification bell so you can get notified every single time I upload thank you so much for watching let's do this little braid and then we can say bye bye till the next video thank you guys So guys, I'm just going to undo this and get my hair back to the way it was and show you how to do my other alternative for a quick, cute halo braid. So guys, my hair is all back to where it was before, so for this sort of braid, I'm just going to select hair literally along the edge of my scalp and just to show you really quickly, like not precisely, I'm just going to use my finger to go all the way around, select some hair, sort of bun it up so it doesn't mix up. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So we're going to have this hair in a bun, just in the center of my head. And we're going to do the same thing, but with just this amount of hair. So it's not as much as before. Let me just do it and show you guys what it looks like so you can decide what you want. And you can have two different options for different occasions, different days. Okay guys, so after you finish doing this, you're going to secure it around your scalp just like we did before. So move it all the way around to the front and just sort of tuck it in under the main braid and use your bobby pins. You have to hide your bobby pins within the braid as well, otherwise they can poke out. Twist them in. And we're done. We're just going to open the rest of this hair out. And this is the other option. If you like, you can just have this in a bun like this. So when you have it in a bun, this is what it will look like. And then when you have it open, it will look more free. You can just have the hair sort of at the back. And then the flower crown basically looks like a little headband. So guys, this is one of my favorite looks. I do like to have it like this, not a full hair crown, halo braid, flower crown, sorry. I prefer to have some of it open even if I do have it in a bun or even a ponytail. I don't usually have it in a full-on braid. 
So those are all the looks. You can try out other sort of looks and see what works for you, but these are the ones I like, and this is my favorite. Just having it like this and not having it in my face because I'll have my little braid all along my the front of my face. So this is a final look and I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, like this video, subscribe down to my channel, hit the notification bell to get notified every time I upload. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Love, baby.